Hello, great minds. Look at this challenge before us here. Yeah, t plus t plus t equal to t times t times t. What is the value of t that will satisfy this equation? So we're taking our solution straightforward. All right. If we add this, add this, add this, that will give us three t. So no much uh, explanation here. So this is going to give us three t. This is equal to t times t times t because we have the same base numbers we can add the exponent so this is one here we have one here we have one here we have one so we can add all of them together because there is a law which says that if you have your a to the power of m times your a to the power of your n times your a to the power of your p then this is same thing as your a here together always to your m plus your n plus your p you see that good so if we have it in this format what does that mean then we're going to have here t raised to the power of one plus one plus one yeah right so it's going to give us our t to the power of three easy so this is a third degree polynomial equation or third order polynomial equation. So we have to solve for three values of our t here. We have to say, okay, let's cancel out t from here, cancel out t from here. Then we'll be left with just two roots to this. But for us to get the three roots, we just have to move this to this side of the equation and rearrange. So if we do that, this is going to give us our t to the power of three yeah, minus our three t equal to zero. So we factor out t from here. So this will give us t bracket. If we use t to divide this, we're left with t to the power of our two, then minus. We use t to divide this, we're left with three. We'll bracket this is equal to zero. So we apply the rule. We say that when you have your a, your a times your b equal to zero, this means that your a is equal to zero or b is equal to zero. So applying that rule, this is going to give us our t is equal to zero. So this is our t1. This is the first value of t that will satisfy this equation. Then we take our case two. So in our case two, what do we have? Our case two says that our t to the power of two minus three is equal to zero. This is pretty easy. Move this to this side of the equation and take the square of it. So this is going to give us t to the power of 2 is equal to our 3. Okay? So what we do here, we want to take the square root of both sides here. So this is going to give us the square root of this, square root of this. And when we do that, we introduce our plus, minus. This this list. So let's continue here and see what this gives us a turn. All right. Okay. So from here, let's look at this. So we're going to have our t. We have two roots from here. So our t, 2, we give us the positive one, which is the square root of 3. And our t, 3, we give us minus the square root of our 3. Here. Now, we can do a confirmation if these three roots actually satisfy the original equation. Okay? Our t, 1, our t, 2, and our t, 3. So we take our t, 1. So let's take a check. Check when t is equal to zero, we have our t plus t plus t equal to t times t times t. So zero plus zero plus zero, we're having zero plus zero plus zero, which is equal to zero times zero times zero. So we have here zero equal to what? Zero. So this shows that this very one satisfies the original equation. Now let's take a look at the second and the third root. So when t here we have when t is equal to the square root of 3. So our equation again, so we're going to have here, here we're going to have here the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3 plus the square root of 3, which is equal to the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 times the square root of 3. So this and this are the same, this and this are the same. So we can add all of that together. This is going to give us 3 roots. 3, which is equal to 
Root 3 times root 3 will give us 3. Because that will give us root 9. And root 9 is 3. So we have 1 left here. So that will give us 3 times root 3. So I have here 3 here times root 3. So this shows that the second root also satisfies the equation. So when t, when our t, t is equal to minus root 3, let's just check out for that. So this is going to give us minus root 3 plus bracket minus root 3 plus bracket minus root 3 equal to our minus root 3 close bracket bracket minus root 3 close bracket bracket minus root 3. All right. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us in 10. Now, minus, plus times minus will give us minus. So we're going to end up having our minus root 3, minus root 3, minus root 3, which is equal to, on this other side, minus times minus will give us plus, times another minus will give us minus. So we're going to have minus into our root 3 times root 3 times root 3. Right? That's why it's still visible. Let's go. On. So here we have minus root 3 minus root 3 minus root 3 will give us minus 3 root 3, which is equal to. Then let's put in our minus sign here. So root 3 times root 3, we say that will give us 3. Then times another root 3 will give us 3. So we now have here minus 3 root 3 equal to minus 3 root 3. So it shows that it's third answer actually satisfied the original equation also okay so this brings us to the end of this class thank you for being there see you in our next class